Well, hello there, guys. It's Alice. I am traveling this weekend for a uh, family birthday. I'm currently in Bowling Green, Kentucky. So I thought I would just do a quick room tour of where I'm staying in case anyone's ever looking for a hotel room in Bowling Green. Hilton Garden Inn. It's right on the main drag in Bowling Green. Um, I'm on, on the third floor. They, I do was able to check in with my app. Um, they let me choose my room. And then as soon as the room is ready, they send you a digital key. So I didn't even have to go to the front desk at all, which was kind of nice. Um, anyway, you walk in and here is closet. Decent closet, iron, ironing board, uh, rack for your luggage, some hangers, no safe, um, but most uh, most hotel rooms that are not in Vegas, I have found, don't really have a safe. And then as you come in, you have the bathroom here on the left. Nothing fancy, but it's very clean. Nice. Got a single sink, mirror, a little vanity makeup mirror. You do have um, these uh, large size body lotion and hand soap containers, which I'm not really thrilled with, but you know, I'll deal with it. They do have the face soap that's uh, single, and the brand is Zero, which Zero something. Let me see, what does that say? I can't even read it. read that. Nope. Anyway, uh, I'm not familiar with that brand, but it looks decent. You have your towels. Plenty of towels for the shower. Basic shower tub combination, nothing fancy. And again, the big dispensers for your shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. But at least they have the shampoo and conditioner separate, which um, a lot of places have the shampoo and conditioner in one, which I really hate. Okay, and there is the uh, hair dryer. All right. And then you come in and one thing that is nice, you have a little microwave, you have a Keurig, and they do supply coffee for you. They even supply creamers, which I rarely see. That is really nice. Some cups, you know, obviously for ice. And there is a little fridge for your use which you can see I've already kind of filled up with some items. I'm going to enjoy some wine in a little bit because I'm exhausted after a kid's birthday party. All right, uh, decent size TV. And then you've got a nice big desk over here with an actually nice uh, desk chair. If you are planning to stay uh, traveling on business, need to work, you're good to go. And there's the lamp. Then there's a little sitting area over here. Bed, nice king size bed. I have not tried it out yet. Um, I'll try to remember to let you know in the morning if it was comfortable or not, but it looks looks clean. I will, of course, check the mattress and all that. Um, the thermostat is over there and um, although the uh, the AC unit is over here on the window which is fine because I can still control it and set it to where I want and then the view is just you know it's a city view nothing nothing exciting but I'm only here for one night so not a big deal they do have um, a little sundries shop downstairs in the lobby area. There is a bar and a small restaurant. They have um, certain hours before you can get breakfast and dinner. And I do have breakfast included with my room rate. Um, and I think my rate was like 165 plus um, taxes and fees. And really this area, that was one of the lower prices 
Um, it, it definitely, it's a Saturday night, so of course that's going to rack it up. But it, I couldn't really find much less than that, you know, unless you wanted to stay in a Super 8 or something like that, which I really wasn't looking for. So I'm going to try the breakfast in the morning, see what that includes. I don't know if that's just like a continental breakfast or whether you get to order from the breakfast menu, but um, we'll find out. All right, well, I'm going to um, get comfortable, go grab some ice, have something to drink, maybe enjoy some wine, nice big TV to watch, and uh, relax. But uh, I will try to remember to check in with you guys in the morning, let you know how I slept, and hopefully um, I'll have time for breakfast and let you know. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I will check in with you after a while. Definitely. There's a few hot things, uh, eggs, potatoes, and some kind of sausage. There's fruits and juice, but then there's also a menu you can order off of, and I will show you that. I'm going to go get some coffee, and I ordered an omelet. This is the menu. You can the, the uh, buffet I showed you is fourteen dollars. You can get cooked to order breakfast as well. I went ahead and got an omelet. It comes with meat and potatoes. And then um, it's a little a little um, confusing. I don't want to say deceiving because you know it's not. But um, when I signed up, it said you get a free breakfast included um, and then you have to go get a card and it says get a ten dollar daily food credit so technically you know unless you get well I guess the waffle would be free that's ten dollars um, most things are going to be more than that but uh, we'll see how the omelet is I'll be back all right so here's the omelet it's a good size three eggs I got veggies and cheese Potatoes look good. Let's see if they're uh, ooh, nice and crispy. Yeah. Very crispy. Good. Okay. So that was fourteen dollars. Not bad. I get ten dollars free. So four bucks for a good breakfast. I'll take it. All right. Hey guys. Uh, Let's just do a wrap up here real quick and um, I'll try and see if I can get through this before the fan on the air conditioner kicks on again because it was a little loud. Um, but um, breakfast, I just showed you breakfast. It was, uh, the, the omelet was really good. The, the potatoes were crispy, tasty. Uh, it also comes with your choice of meat, but I didn't, didn't want any of that, so I left that off. $14. And um, during breakfast, I told you that um, I was just getting a $10 discount, um, the $10 coupon, but that was actually wrong because she wrote, which I didn't notice, I'll put the ticket up um, in the corner here again, um, she wrote free on the voucher. So the breakfast was was free, which um, was really nice. And, um, you know, of course, I, I left a, a tip as well. But, so, good breakfast, um, good service. Everybody in there was really nice. The, um, the room was very comfortable. The bed was comfortable. Uh, of course, that's always, you know, sub subjective. Some people like a really hard mattress, some soft. This one was kind of, you know, medium. <laughs> um, the pillows were, there were four, four, four pillows and two, two, like two different ones. And I'm really picky about my pillows and I was very comfortable. So I'm happy with that. The shower was good, you know, good pressure, not awesome, but, but good. Water was hot. Bathroom was good. Amenities were good. So yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend this place and, I would stay here again next time uh, I come down to visit for my granddaughter's birthday. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to go head back to uh, the family for a while, and I will catch you guys on the next review. If you enjoy these kind of reviews, please hit that subscribe button so you'll know when I have more coming out. Hit the like if you uh, felt this was helpful to you. Leave any comments if you have any questions for me. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.